Hi there. If you're somebody that's sat at home watching this video right now thinking I want to start a business, you might be somebody who's already in business but you're struggling to make it work. If you stick around for the next five, six minutes, I'll give you five things that you must do in this order in order to guarantee that you're more likely to be successful in business than not. Stick around, gonna share it with you right now. Hi there, my name is Ian Dixon, and for the last 19, nearly 20 years, I have been helping business owners to become healthier, wealthier, and happier. And there are things that business owners and people that are thinking about starting a business that absolutely need to do in a certain order that I see so often they just don't. So I wanna share with you over the next five, six minutes, four or five things, and if you stick around to the end, I'll give you a killer bonus tip right at the end that absolutely will help you smash success in 2024. So stick around for the end, but I'll share with you some things that you need to do in this order if you want to be successful in business. Right, so let us I know you just want to get into it, so let me give you some of these things. Right, the first thing is business owners or people that are thinking about starting a business, they come up with what they want to do a product or a service, just one. Uh, you know, you might be a plumber, you might be an electrician, you might be somebody that wants to open a coffee shop and, it, and you kind of just start going to market. Well, the first thing that you want to do is get a pen and sit down and come up with a dozen ideas. Come up with lots of different things that are three things really. First of all, are they something that you are interested in? Like, really important. Second thing, is this something that you would be good at, that you would absolutely smash? And thirdly, is there a need for it? Is this something that you think that um, consumers would want? Like, is it? are you solving a problem? Those three things are critical, and but come up with more than one, come up with a dozen. So is this something that people need? Is this something I'd be good at? And is this something that I'd enjoy? Those three things, before you even start, are, are, are so, so important. There's the first one, right. Now you've got your 10 things, you need to pick one, right? So you need to, which one of those, when you start applying those three rules, stands out as the best one for you and jump in. And then the next phase of starting a business, next phase of the process, and I've said this to so many people when I've been out networking, they've turned up with a new idea or a new product, is that you need to find your gap. Gap stands for give away product. What, or well, even a service is a product, but what is it about what it is that you wanna do that you could give away? And there's a really important reason why I'm saying this. Where is your gap, your give away product? If you're starting out, I highly encourage you for not just for your consumers and your prospects, but also for you, is to give some things away so that you can find out several things. Is this something I'm enjoying? Is this something I'd be good at? But the most important element of finding your gap is to find out whether or not you can generate interest. And if you take the pain or, or the price point away, and you just give something away, it, nominal value, so what's your lowest value point that you could give a part of whatever it is that you give away? I'm gonna give you a real life example. So, um, you know, uh, back in 2004, when I set off on this journey to become a business mentor, business performance coach, whatever you wanna call me, um, uh, there was no social platforms and it was, what's my giveaway product? What is it? that I could give away that would tell me whether or not I'd be good at this, would tell me whether or not I can attract leads, and would tell me whether or not I, I'm, I'm, I enjoy it. So, so I went down the route. My gap, my giveaway product was free seminars. So I would give away a three hour free seminar 
and my marketing was all about giving that away. So I'd go networking, I'd put adverts in the paper, in our local Federation of Small Businesses magazine. I would give away, my gap, my giveaway product was a free seminar. If you're a plumber, it might be a free assessment on your heating system. It might be a questionnaire. It might be something online that helps you understand where your problems are. So there are lots of giveaway products. I I remember working with a guy at a networking event and he was standing up selling a a business audit. And I said to him, mate, you got to give that away to start off with. Um, and get some testimonials and some feedback because you'll learn from it, your consumers will learn from it, and then you'll know whether or not it's something you can charge for. Nominal value, I want to get that across. So anyway, I was giving away, uh, my gap was a free seminar. But that's really important. Whatever it is, when you're starting out, is there something, is there an element of what I'm doing that I could give away so that I can demonstrate to myself that I can generate leads. Because if you can't generate leads, I've got so many business owners that have fabulous products, really good at their service. You know, they know their stuff, but they're not good at marketing, not good at lead generation. So if you're giving something away, it, in theory, it should be a whole lot easier for them and for you. Right. So that, that, that's kind of number two. The third one is over a period of time, and I can remember when I was doing my seminars, uh, we were soliciting feedback from everybody that came, and you start to hone in on several things. The first thing is I learned what were the pain points, what were the ones, what were the titles of the seminars, and what was the content in the seminars that was attracting the most attention. So then I started to learn to refine, to review, and to reflect on what I was giving away so that I could then hone in on specific areas of the work that I was doing so that when I started to pay for my marketing, when I started to invest heavily in in how I was going to market, I felt more confident that I was going to be able to attract customers and clients. So kind of the third phase of this whole process is to take stock. And, you know, in order to be able to do that successfully, you need to track, you need to understand the source, you need to understand uh, the types of people that are um, uh, responding to your gap, your giveaway giveaway product. Right. Uh, Number four, the last piece of this then really is once you've honed in and um, uh, I, I, you know, I could give you some very specific examples of um, how, how refined I got that third piece. And then when I went to market, it just became a whole lot easier. Because then the fourth piece is that's when you start going big, start firing big guns. Because in theory, you've understood what you'd be good at. You've understood um, whether or not there's a need for it. You've uh, demonstrated that you can attract or generate leads from what you're doing. Now go big. So so you go to market, you promote, um, you pay for advertising, you pay for um, uh, a search engine optimization, whatever it might be, and, and you're away. And then in all honesty, what happens is, and this is why it's suitable for uh, people that are already in business, you then go back to the beginning of this process and you start again. You list yourself a whole bunch of products, things that you'd be good at, things you'd enjoy doing, and things that you're confident that there is a market or need for. And then you create a gap, find your giveaway product. What is it uh, that you could give away that will tell you whether or not it is of interest to the marketplace? Um, you review, refine, and then you go to market. Bonus tip. I promised you um, a, a tip right at the end here that because you've stayed, I thought, you know, let me give you something of value that if you layer this into everything that you're doing through your gap process, your giveaway process, um, in your paid marketing, even in the building of your product or service, factor in speed. Speed of service, speed of delivery, speed of answering the phone, speed of anything, anything that demonstrates how quickly 
you will deal with, you will answer, you will deliver, you will uh, provide anything that adds speed into what you're doing. Doesn't matter what it is, product or service, anything that factors in speed, uh, people, your consumers, us as consumers, we're far more likely to spend money on anything that is dealt with now. So there you go. Um, I've probably spent far too long already, 10 minutes in. Hope you found that use useful. Uh, please do click on the uh, like and subscribe and the bell, but I can't begin to tell you how much help that provides me and YouTube. Uh, because it tells YouTube that they've sent you the right video. So please do like and subscribe. Uh, lots more videos coming in 2024. I'm absolutely committed and dedicated to making sure that this year we're giving away lots of really important information to help people that are starting out in business and those that are struggling after they've been in business for a while. Hope you found it useful. It's been great to share with you today. Uh, take care. We'll catch up with you again soon. Bye for now.